KukaSim is basically a simulation software which supports offline programming for our robots and a tool where we can optimize your process or operations and test your robot operations outside of the production environment in a virtual environment. And its focus is ease of use and fast use. So to be as efficient as possible. So this really is a tool for saving time and increasing revenue to do a feasibility check. Is it possible to do? To do a reliable planning of the programming. And it is also a modular tool today. So we can choose what modules to use inside of it. Now, to say that KUKASIM is just an offline programming tool is to downplay the statement quite a lot. Because what KUKA SIM is, is reality a tool for creating a digital twin of your and your customer's production process or automation process. And it is actually a tool that is quite possible to use in the whole project or the whole process through project from using it as a sales tool presentation where you can visualize both material and flow. And this is really easy to do. I will show you a little bit about it, but it's not much harder to use than a normal PowerPoint presentation. And we can use the CAD files, the layouts we get from our customer throughout the whole process. That means that we would have 100% consistency using the same information in different tools, who can see them, CAD, PLC programming, and so on, throughout the whole project. So we don't need to do anything extra to create this digital twin. And when I say digital twin, we can also do virtual commissioning with a KUKASIM. And then I mean not only for the robot code itself, but typically in an automation environment, uh, the robot interacts with other automation equipment. That is the PLC, perhaps there's a local operator panel and other stuff uh, in your production line or cell. And we can actually connect KUKASIM to all these types of equipments to simulate, to test and verify the complete cell functionality or the complete line functionality. So let me just show you a little bit how fast and easy it is to use KUKASIM in this environment. So I've actually switched to KUKASIM here. And in this case here, I have started with an empty layout. And a customer has been kind enough to provide me with a step file of his process layout, which I choose to import to KUKASIM. So I choose the step file. I check some <clears throat> options on how to import it. In this case, I don't change anything. I just import the file as it is. And we now have his layout, which he has provided me. And into this, I now want to add a robotic solution. And inside of KUKASIM, there is an extensive library of objects I can choose to enter into KUKASIM. And in this case, I'm planning to add a linear track with a robot on it and a tool so it can start picking objects and moving them in this process which is going to be created and this can be done within a few minutes so it's really effective to do this together with the customer so let's start i said i needed a linear track
And in this case, I'm going to use a quite large robot, so I will also be using the larger linear track, the KL4000. And I just drag and drop it into my layout. And there we go. Now, this is not oriented, of course, in the way I want it to be oriented. So I will show the properties of this linear track and we will just now start moving it and turning it around a little bit. So I will switch it to 90 degrees. That was or not really 90, as you see here in the properties field, it's 91, since I'm not that smooth on my mouse handling. And not that direction, but minus 90 degrees. And I want to move it in this direction over here. I want to move it a little bit in that direction. And you see it's still a bit short. So I will increase the travel length to 13.9 meters. And as you see, the linear track has now been expanded or lengthened. So we also need a robot, of course. I will, I said I want to use quite a large robot. I will use in this case one of our Quantex. Let's take this one, for example. And the first, I just drag it into the work area. The robot is now created with its controller. And I think you still see my screen. It's switched to back. I hope you see it. Yes. So now I just select my robot, and of course, I want to place it on the linear track. And as you see, when I get close to it, it wants to snap. The observant one will see that I get a green little arrow here. And when the green arrow is, I just release it, and it will snap to the linear track like that. So now, if I choose to jog my robot, I select the robot. You can now see that there is an axle, which is the linear track. And I can use this to start moving the robot like this. So, as you see, to create a layout and start moving the robot to, in order to make tests of reach and so on, it's quite fast and easy. I can now use the mouse pointer to change the positions of the robot, or I can use the sliders here to, to move individual accesses here by describing for a customer how the process will work. So to create a first layout together with your team or your customer and discuss how uh, an automation line or an automation cell should work is actually very easy and uh, fast in doing, I would say. And as you noticed, I integrated a step file, but in reality, I can import basically any uh, CAD file into this, including 2D dimensional drawings as well. If you just have a layout and want to place your objects there. And I can even import a scanned point cloud which is demonstrated in this video, I hope you will see here. So 
So here we have used, we have used a 3D scanner in an environment and scanned the environment in terms of a point cloud, and then imported it directly into KUKASIM and created an animation in KUKASIM here, which we have exported as a video file. The, the video file here is the result we see here. So it's also usable in points in situations where there are no layout drawings. It's then possible to actually scan the environment and use it from that. And talking about exports, once your simulation or 3D layout is done, it's also possible to export it as a 3D PDF, including an animation. And just to let you know, look at how that works, uh, I have uploaded under handouts uh, such an example of a, such an export of a 3D PDF, which you can download if you like. You will find it under the Go to Webinar tab, Handouts, and there's a PDF which you can download and start. You need uh, the Acrobat Reader to be able to view a 3D PDF, but it includes an animation, and you can freely pan around, zoom within that 3D. So you can send out this information to your customers and they don't need to have a 3D tool available to look at it. And of course, KUKASIM is also virtual reality compliant. So together with a VR headset, we can actually step into the model we have created, not only looking at it in the screen, but experiencing it firsthand. That was a little bit about the background of KUKASIM. Uh, I will now talk a little bit about what's new in the new version KUKASIM 4. And KUKASIM 4 is available right now. There is also a demo version on our homepage, which you can download for trials if you like. But there are a few major points which are new in the KUKASIM 4. And that is, there's a completely new robot programming editor inside of KUKASIM. And it's actually now, in difference to the older versions, a true KUKA robot language editor and interpreter. That means that we can run real robot code within KUKASIM. That was not the situation in the earlier version 3.1, where we, if we wanted to use real KUKA robot languages, we were restricted to using it inside Work Visual. Now we can say that large parts of Work Visual has moved into KUKA SIM, so the programming of the robot is now integrated in KUKA SIM. There is a new arc welding module inside KUKA SIM uh, for creating paths and so on. I have a few more slides describing it later on. There's a new connectivity module enabling PLC connectivity, for virtual commissioning. And there's a new modeling module, uh, how to create your own objects within KUKASI. And there's also a new licensing model. So I will get back to that shortly. And of course, so much more news when we go into details, which we don't really have time to go into all the details during this webinar here. But if we look at the new KRL editor, well, actually, those of you who have programmed in Work Visual will recognize the programming structure here. So it's a simple program tree for KRL code, which we can expand to do the exact text mode you would see in Work Visual or on the smart pad. This KRL editor will also do time prediction. So we will be able to check the cycle time for the robot code directly in the editor. I have direct IO simulation possible here as well for the robot IOs. 
So this is the tool where I can realize the KRL code efficiently. And here you see the other view when we see the advanced KRL program editor view. So there's a simplified view and an advanced view showing the same program structure. And I think that those of you who actually program robots are happy to recognize yourself in this view. And now it's inside Kokia Sim. And actually, I we can create a complete work visual project directly from Kokasim. I also told you that there is a new arc welding add-on uh, to Kokasim, which simulates the arc welding process. And this is now in terms of an optional license. It's an option to Kokasim. But I can use this together with my Arc Basic software for the robot and generate Arc welding settings such as path selection and definition. I can choose an edge of an object and say that I want to weld this. I can add the approach and depart pre-settings and the workpiece and robot position settings directly within KUKA Sim. And I can even do automatic path generation with framing and regression in my welding. And also robot positioners or external positioners are supported in this. So I can even preview a torch and a welding path here. So this is a really advanced simulation for welding. Another new feature is a complete connectivity add-on, which allows connectivity to both PLC brands. So we can include PLC code in our KUKA SIM, which is very important when we want to do virtual commissioning, because usually the robot is not existing in its own, it's interacting with PLCs in signal exchange and so on. The PLC will be controlling some of the automation equipment in our cell. And in the connectivity add-on, there is direct connection to some of the more used simulation tools we find on the market, which is Simit and WinMod. And we will also have the OPC UA interface available also for those of you who are not using WinMod or Simit. And there's also a modeling add-on. Now we can do simple modeling in KUKA Sim without this add-on. If I want to make a simple robot tool, or if I want to have a solid, uh, if I have a solid step file and I want to break it down into its individual co components, I can do that without a modeling add-on. But if I want to create my own uh, library of objects with their own dedicated uh, property tab pages and their own predefined behaviors and build up my own library, then I would need the modeling add-on. That is to create the kinematics, the signals, the sensors, the behavior of that and save that as a predefined object. So, so some most of you will not have any use for the modeling add-on, but that some of you certainly will. Now, there's also a completely new pricing and licensing model. Um, earlier, KUKA SIM3 was a one-time purchase at a rather high price. That has now been changed, actually. So KUKA SIM is now a software as a service, which you pay for annually. And you choose what your need is, and you can change that freely over the leasing period or software as a service period. So instead of buying KUKASIM as a one-time product, you can now pay for it annually. And there are some different levels, as I mentioned before. So there's the KUKASIM basic package, which you need to pay for annually. And then you choose, depending on your need, the modeling add-ons, the connectivity add-ons, and the welding add-ons. And as you see, there are two types of version of each one of them, which the difference is N or F. 
the N is a node locked. That means that the license is locked to a certain computer. And the F is a floating license, which means that you can have the software installed on several machines at the same time, but you can only use it on the one machine that occupies the license right now. And these are quite aggressively priced, so they have become much, much lower in price compared to what they were before. But get back to you if you're interested, and we will make you a really attractive offer on them. Now, there are, of course, quite a lot of few minor changes. And for some of you, these won't be minor changes. But you can see it in this table here, for example. Our new SCAR and Delta robots are supported in the new version. We can do safe operation configuration in KUKA SIM 4, which we could not do in the earlier version, which is a really welcome feature. We can also do emergency stop simulation inside of KUKA SIM 4 to determine how long distance the robot needs with a certain load at, in an emergency stop. I can do advanced signal IO, as that is signal, simulate my IO handling. And as I've already mentioned, I can do a complete work visual project export directly from KUKASIM now. And my colleagues even tested to download this project directly to the robot without going through work visual, which works fantastically well. But we recommend to always use work visual to download your projects because work, work Visual do some security checks uh, alongside the download, which KUKASIM won't do. But you can create the complete project within KUKASIM. And of course, the advanced KUKA robot language editor, which I've talked about already. So with this, we are really happy and proud to urge you to use KUKASIM through our project. We need KUKASIM is now really an efficient tool for the digital twin platform. And installed in your network, it will be available for tests for all your skill sets within your project team. That means that the mechanical designer, he can import export the CAD files directly into <clears throat> the KUKA SIM so that the design he does is available directly in the simulation world. The robot programmer, of course, he will write his KRL code now directly inside. And with the connectivity pack, even the PLC programmer and the HMI programmer can reach and test versus this digital twin model, which makes it a highly efficient tool to use during a project. And of course, Using the highly visual 3D layout you have created, you can also use this as a tool to discuss with your customer. It's really hard for a customer to write a requirement in text which completely covers it, and it's really hard for you as an integrator to describe the process in a text which fully covers the functionality. But by using this 3D model you create during your project, you can use this also as a discussion and a demonstrator towards your customer before you've actually built anything. And of course, by doing continuous simulation, testing, testing, and testing towards this virtual, virtual model, we will discover the errors and problems we create at a much earlier stage, which then leads to and when we discover them early on the process, we will save time and money. And of course, a common visual model increases the understanding for all team members, including the customers. And it's also easier to discuss changes or additions to a, a automation line or cell. And of course, we could even use this uh, 3D model to do some operator training or use it as a demonstrator together with a customer and thereby eliminating the risk of misunderstandings. So this is really a 
good tool of transforming an FAT or an SAT to a problem co correction to a functional verification, saving a lot of time and which otherwise would typically be spent in an FAT and thereby also spending quite less time and resources on site during the commissioning. So I've already mentioned that KUKA SIM is now available. If you go to our webpage, there is a It's now switched to, there is a trial license with a 30 day demo available. If and when you do that, don't hesitate to go get in contact with us at the KUKA. We will do a one-to-one -one little workshop for a couple of hours with you to get you started if you like. And preferably we want to use your models, your step files to get you started. So. Download the demo versions, get back to us, and we will arrange a workshop together with you. There is, of course, also training available for KUKA SIM, and that is possible to do online as well. Now, with that, I've reached the end of my presentation. This will be available on our KUKA Nordic YouTube channel. And I've seen in the chat field that I have got quite a few questions, so let's go through them one by one. So, uh, Martin Hammer ex asks, what type of exports are available? I need to be available to export a cell in a step AP242 for my colleagues. And yes, uh, KUKA SIM can export a step file informs in the form of AP242 uh, format, uh, not the 214. It's only the 242 uh, format which is available. I got a question from Finland, from Tobias, who asks who is working on a high school in Finland and using uh, a competitor software here. Uh, they do have a KUKA robot, but they have never used KUKA SIM, and he now wonders. Let me expand my screen here. It's quite small. If there are any school licenses, and yes, there is also a school license uh, available for training. So if you get back either to me directly or to Kimo in Finland, we will help you arrange that. Christopher asks if it's possible to, no, Martin, to import a physical robot project uh, program and use it in, not yet, it will be available shortly, but in this version release now, it's not uh, available yet, but it certainly will be. Christopher asks, in previous versions of the KRL program was limited to a single file inside KUKA SIM, which made it pretty useless. Is it limit, limitation removed now and most program consists of multiple files? Yes, it's the same soft uh, library structure of the file, which you actually find within uh, Work Visual. So yes, that is handled. And Stefan asks, does it work together with CNC, KUKA CNC? Uh, CNC is a COP file, uh, which you install together with the work visual and download to the robot controller. If that is installed in your work visual project and downloaded, you can run KUKA SIM versus the real controller and or office light and then they use that in KUKA SIM, yes. But the CNC interface is not included in KUKA SIM, but once installed, you can run it on the virtual controller. Yeah, and Jesper says, uh, send the link to the training material. Well, there is no real training material. There is a demo version available online. We, will, we are tr developing some training material, but there's no real training material available right now. So if you want, we can book a one-on-one -on -one workshop for a couple of hours with you to get you started. 
what about simulation animations of attaching and detaching objects? This was not possible unless the robot was programmed from within Kuka Sim. Uh, absolutely, that is quite possible. So I can now do that inside. Since the KRL editor is inside of Kuka Sim, I can now do it inside Kuka Sim as well. I'm not sure what you mean, but uh, if you Call me later, I will be able to demonstrate it for you. Industrial Intelligence.